Okay, this is just a quick explanation of what we're doing with the CNC controller at the moment. Um, at the moment, we start off with uh, drawing whatever part we want to make. This is using SketchUp, uh, but you could also use any 3D software that can output, that can export either DXF or STL, doesn't matter. Once we've taken that file, um, we bring it into Freemill here. This, in this case, this is a DXF file, but Freemill will also accept STL files. Um, in Freemill is very easy to use, um, and a lot of the settings you don't even have to worry about. Um, all you've got to do is some very basic. Um, over here, you can see more or less all you have to do is tell it what cutting tool you want and how wide it is, the controller will calculate everything else. <clears throat> you give it the feed speeds, although once again the controller can do all that. And you generate your toolpath. So you can see here, the, in this case it's going left and right here. We can go along the Y axis instead. Okay, then we go to the post uh, process and we're just selecting Mac three, um, in this case millimetres, although Americans can use inches. Okay, and then that creates um, some G code for us. And you can even see the G code here before we process it. Um, I'm using Mac 3 at the moment because it does all the calculations for you. So just about all the codes is just X, Y, Z coordinates. Um, it's very easy for the controller then to process. Okay, now we're on to the controller. The, the G code's already been loaded into an SD card here. So now we select the file. In this case I'll select the ball 10mm because that's what I've got loaded in the machine. Um, here's the G code, same as what the, just so we can see what's on the card. Uh, now we go to scan it. The scanning is where the controller reads the size of the job to check that the job will fit on the machine. It uh, checks that, there's a, is there any G code there that it doesn't understand. Um, it does a lot of error checking and all made calculations based on this. We can also do a preview. You can see here, this is actually going through the G-code and plotting a point on the screen every time the cutting tool changes position. So we get a sort of a 3D model of the job and we can sort of see it's, how's, how it's going to look. In this case it was going backwards and forwards along the x-axis and travelling along the y. Once we're happy with that, we can then go to run, 